Well hi and today I'm down here on the outskirts of Manchester and I'm at Beefold Meadows Blur Homes. I'm taking a look around the Hallam which is a property that I am thinking potentially of buying not at this particular location but a little bit further down south so I'm just taking a look at the building. I like the structure of the build, all of the pointing is perfect, brickwork is nice, very sort of traditional but at the same time using the modern techniques. And of course this is a show home so they've got extra features here but um, let's go inside and take a look. <laughs> So as we go inside, there was music playing and so I couldn't use the original voiceover that I did as I was walking around in the house. So instead I'm doing a little bit of a post uh, review here as I watch the video myself. So here's a little washroom at the side and then as we move down the hallway there's a utility cupboard which has room for the boiler in a top cupboard and then beneath that there's room for a washing machine here or a dryer there uh, and I think a washing machine there. Now you can either get those guys to uh, provide the appliances at a cost or you can have your own fitted afterwards. So this is the lounge space here off to the right and it's a nice lounge. The carpets are nice. They feel like there's a certain depth to the carpets and these houses have been all staged and decorated which look uh, really nice. All the details seem to blend and the colours seem to blend. Um, of, of course again you can get these homes decorated just how you want. Uh, and then as we work our way round through that's the stairway upstairs and through into the kitchen and dining area and family room. So off there to the right is the kitchen with nice appliances. So I think some of these come as standard. Uh, you need to check their website and then some of them are extras that you have to pay for. So I think the oven, the hob, I think are standard. Um, but then you can upgrade the worktops to like quartzite worktops or you can have a dishwasher fitted or uh, fridge, freezer and so on. So uh, nice opening cupboards and nice little space inside there. I think I would go for the gloss look on the uh, kitchen units rather than the matte look that they've got in this particular show uh, room. And enough room here for a little dining table going out to the garden at the rear sort of medium sized garden. I wouldn't say it's massive. Um, I don't know if this is typical of the Hallam uh, homes or whether that's just the show home size. Um, again, you'd have to check on, on what plot you were looking at if you were interested in getting one of these ho houses. Uh, dishwasher in this one. Um, a nice kind of moulded style sink um, in there and uh, a sort of uh, gas hob in this one. So yeah, nice open airy space and all very modern looking fittings and you can decorate it how you wish. I think again the flooring you've got to uh, pay for uh, extra. So then on upstairs it's got a kind of a, a return 180 staircase and then you're onto the nice open landing and there are four bedrooms in the Hallam. A bathroom and then one of the bedrooms is en suite. This is one of the smaller rooms here as we go inside. Just turn the lights on to get a little bit more light in here. Nice size window. Enough room in this room to have a little study or a very small bedroom. 
and in this one I think they've got like a little sofa here but you could have like a bed settee or something like that if you wanted so you could make use of this room occasionally or just kit it out as a little office nice light coming in on the stairwell there and then into this room which is I'm gonna say maybe a little bit bigger than the other one Again, fairly small, so two fairly small rooms, just as you get to the top of the stairs. Then we go into the master room here on the left-hand side, and there's like a little vestibule area as you're walking in, and then it opens up into the bedroom itself. It's a nice size room, enough room for a double bed, perhaps a king size. Inside the ensuite, You've got a full-size shower in there and also a hand wash basin and toilet. Frosted window to outside to let the light in, radiator in there too. And then this uh, back out in the room just gives you an idea of the sort of size from a different angle. As you can see, fitted wardrobes across there and inside uh, they've got them pretty much empty so that you can just hang clothes in them or have shelves fitted as you require. This is the family bathroom with shower cubicle at the end, which is handy to have it separate to the bath. And then this is kind of the second size bedroom, which is a decent little size room as a second guest room. And that's it around the Hallam from Blur Homes. Thanks for watching and take care of yourselves. Bye bye for now.